Mushroom Poisoning, Wikipedia Article Audio Mushroom poisoning refers to harmful effects from ingestion of toxic substances present in a mushroom. These symptoms can vary from slight gastrointestinal discomfort to death. The toxins present are secondary metabolites produced by the fungus. Mushroom poisoning is usually the result of ingestion of wild mushrooms after misidentification of a toxic mushroom as an edible species. The most common reason for this misidentification is close resemblance in terms of color and general morphology of the toxic mushroom species with edible species. Folk Traditions Causes Toxins and their symptoms Poisonous mushrooms Other causes Famous incidents In fiction To prevent mushroom poisoning, mushroom gatherers familiarize themselves with the mushrooms they intend to collect as well as with any similar-looking toxic species. In addition, edibility of mushrooms may depend on methods of preparation for cooking. The edibility or toxicity of some species varies with geographic location. Many folk traditions concern the defining features of poisonous mushrooms. However, there are no general identifiers for poisonous mushrooms, so such traditions are unreliable. Guidelines to identify particular mushrooms exist, and will serve if one knows which mushrooms are toxic. Examples of erroneous folklore rules include New species of fungi are continuing to be discovered, with an estimated number of 800 new species registered annually. This, added to the fact that many investigations have recently reclassified some species of mushrooms from edible to poisonous has made older classifications insufficient at describing what now is known about the different species of fungi that are harmful to humans. Thus, contrary to what older registers state, it is now thought that of the approximately 100,000 known fungi species found worldwide, about 100 of them are poisonous to humans. However, by far the majority of mushroom poisonings are not fatal, and the majority of fatal poisonings are attributable to the Amanita phalloids mushroom. A majority of these cases are due to mistaken identity. This is a common occurrence with A. phalloids in particular, due to its resemblance to the Asian paddy straw mushroom. Valvariella valvacea. Both are light colored and covered with a universal veil when young. Ammonita s can be mistaken for other species, as well, in particular when immature. On at least one occasion they have been mistaken for Caprinus comatus. In this case, the victim had some limited experience in identifying mushrooms but did not take the time to correctly identify these particular mushrooms until after he began to experience symptoms of mushroom poisoning. The author of Mushrooms Demystified, David Aurora cautions puffball hunters to beware of Ammonita eggs, which are Ammonita s still entirely encased in their universal veil. Ammonita s at this stage are difficult to distinguish from puffballs. Foragers are encouraged to always cut the fruiting bodies of suspected puffballs in half, as this will reveal the outline of a developing ammonita should it be present within the structure. A majority of mushroom poisonings in general are the result of small children, especially toddlers in the grazing stage, ingesting mushrooms found in the lawn. While this can happen with any mushroom, Chlorophyllum molybdites is often implicated due to its preference for growing in lawns. C. molybdites causes severe gastrointestinal upset but is not considered deadly poisonous. A few poisonings are the result of misidentification while attempting to collect hallucinogenic mushrooms for recreational use. In 1981, 
one fatality and two hospitalizations occurred following consumption of Galerina autumnalis, mistaken for a psilocybe species. Galerina and psilocybe species are both small, brown, and sticky, and can be found growing together. However, Galerina contains omatoxins, the same poison found in the deadly Ammonita species. Another case reports kidney failure following ingestion of Cortinarius aurelanus, a mushroom containing aurelanine. It is natural that accidental ingestion of hallucinogenic species also occurs, but is rarely harmful when ingested in small quantities. Cases of serious toxicity have been reported in small children. Ammonita panthrina, while containing the same hallucinogens as Ammonita muscaria, has been more commonly associated with severe gastrointestinal upset than its better known counterpart. Although usually not fatal, Omphalidus species, jack o' lantern mushrooms, are another cause of sometimes significant toxicity. They are sometimes mistaken for chanterelles. Both are bright orange and fruit at the same time of year, although Omphalidus grows on wood and has true gills rather than the veins of Acantherellus. They contain toxins known as eludins which causes gastrointestinal symptoms. Bioluminescent species are generally inedible and often mildly toxic. Clitocybe dilbata, which is occasionally mistaken for an oyster mushroom or other edible species contains muscarine. Toxicities can also occur with collection of morels. Even true morels, if eaten raw, will cause gastrointestinal upset. Typically, morels are thoroughly cooked before eating. Verpa bohemica, although referred to as thimble morels or early morels by some, have caused toxic effects in some individuals. Gyromitra species, false morels, are deadly poisonous if eaten raw. They contain a toxin called gyromitrin which can cause neurotoxicity, gastrointestinal toxicity, and destruction of the blood cells. The Finns consume gyromitra esculenta after parboiling, but this may not render the mushroom entirely safe, resulting in its being called the fugu of the Finnish cuisine. A more unusual toxin is coprin a disulfiram-like compound that is harmless unless ingested within a few days of ingesting alcohol. It inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase, an enzyme required for breaking down alcohol. Thus, the symptoms of toxicity are similar to being hung over flushing, headache, nausea, palpitations, and, in severe cases, trouble breathing. Caprina species, including Coprinopsis atramentaria, contain coprin. Caprinus comatus does not, but it is best to avoid mixing alcohol with other members of this genus. Recently, poisonings have also been associated with Ammonita smithiana. These poisonings may be due to orelanine, but the onset of symptoms occurs in 4 to 11 hours which is much quicker than the 3 to 20 days normally associated with orelanine. Paxillus invalidus is also inedible when raw, but is eaten in Europe after pickling or parboiling. However, after the death of the German mycologist Dr. Julius Schaefer, it was discovered that the mushroom contains a toxin that can stimulate the immune system to attack its own red blood cells. This reaction is rare, but can occur even after safely eating the mushroom for many years. Similarly, Tricholoma equister was widely considered edible and good, until it was connected with rare cases of rhabdomyolysis. In the fall of 2004, 13 deaths were associated with consumption of Pleurocybella porigens or angel's wings. In general, these mushrooms are considered edible. 
All the victims died of an acute brain disorder, and all had pre-existing kidney disease. The exact cause of the toxicity was not known at this time and the deaths cannot be definitively attributed to mushroom consumption. However, mushroom poisoning is not always due to mistaken identity. For example, the highly toxic ergot claviceps purpurea, which grows on rye, is sometimes ground up with rye, unnoticed, and later consumed. This can cause devastating, even fatal effects, which is called ergotism. Cases of idiosyncratic or unusual reactions to fungi can also occur. Some are probably due to allergy, others to some other kind of sensitivity. It is not uncommon for an individual person to experience gastrointestinal upset associated with one particular mushroom species or genus. Poisonous mushrooms contain a variety of different toxins that can differ markedly in toxicity. Symptoms of mushroom poisoning may vary from gastric upset to life-threatening organ failure resulting in death. Serious symptoms do not always occur immediately after eating, often not until the toxin attacks the kidney or liver, sometimes days or weeks later. The most common consequence of mushroom poisoning is simply gastrointestinal upset. Most poisonous mushrooms contain gastrointestinal irritants that cause vomiting and diarrhea, but usually no long-term damage. However, there are a number of recognized mushroom toxins with specific, and sometimes deadly, effects. The period of time between ingestion and the onset of symptoms varies dramatically between toxins, some taking days to show symptoms identifiable as mushroom poisoning. Some mushrooms contain less toxic compounds and, therefore, are not severely poisonous. Poisonings by these mushrooms may respond well to treatment. However, certain types of mushrooms, such as the ammonitas, contain very potent toxins and are very poisonous, so even if symptoms are treated promptly mortality is high. With some toxins, death can occur in a week or a few days. Although a liver or kidney transplant may save some patients with complete organ failure, in many cases there are no organs available. Patients hospitalized and given aggressive support therapy almost immediately after ingestion of ammonitin-containing mushrooms have a mortality rate of only 10%, whereas those admitted 60 or more hours after ingestion have a 50-90% mortality rate. Of the most lethal mushrooms, three the death cap, destroying angels and the fool's mushroom belong to the genus Ammonita and two more the deadly webcap, and the fool's webcap are from the genus Cortinarius. Several species of Galerina, Lapiota, and Conocybe also contain lethal amounts of amatoxins. Deadly species are listed in the list of deadly fungi. The following species may cause great discomfort, sometimes requiring hospitalization, but are not considered deadly. Mushrooms may be rendered poisonous by insecticides or herbicides sprayed on lawns or reserves. At least one author recommends never picking them in non-natural landscapes for this reason. Also, mushrooms are sometimes contaminated by concentrating pollutants, such as heavy metals or radioactive material. Rotten mushrooms may cause food poisoning. Mushrooms that are mushy, bad-smelling, or moldy may be toxic due to bacterial decay or mold. Poisonous mushrooms are brightly colored. Indeed, fly agaric, usually bright red to orange or yellow, is narcotic and hallucinogenic, although no human deaths have been reported. The deadly destroying angel, in contrast, is an unremarkable white. The deadly galerinus are brown. Some choice edible species are brightly colored, 
whereas most poisonous species are brown or white, insects slash animals will avoid toxic mushrooms. Fungi that are harmless to invertebrates can still be toxic to humans, the death cap, for instance, is often infested by insect larvae, poisonous mushrooms black and silver. None of the known mushroom toxins have a reaction with silver, poisonous mushrooms taste bad. People who have eaten the deadly ammonitis have reported that the mushrooms tasted quite good. All mushrooms are safe if cooked slash parboiled slash dried slash pickled slash etc. While it is true that some otherwise inedible species can be rendered safe by special preparation, many toxic species cannot be made toxin-free. Many fungal toxins are not particularly sensitive to heat and so are not broken down during cooking, in particular, alpha-ammonitin. The poison produced by the death cap and others of the genus, is not denatured by heat, poisonous mushrooms will turn rice red when boiled. A number of Laotian refugees were hospitalized after eating mushrooms deemed safe by this folklore rule and this misconception cost at least one person her life, poisonous mushrooms have a pointed cap. Edible ones have a flat, rounded cap. The shape of the mushroom cap does not correlate with presence or absence of mushroom toxins, so this is not a reliable method to distinguish between edible and poisonous species. Death cap, for instance, has a rounded cap when mature, bolides are, in general, safe to eat. It is true that, unlike a number of Ammonita species in particular, in most parts of the world, there are no known deadly varieties of the Boletus genus, which reduces the risks associated with misidentification. However, mushrooms like the devil's bullet are poisonous both raw and cooked and can lead to strong gastrointestinal symptoms, and other species like the lurid bullet require thorough cooking to break down toxins. As with other mushroom genera, Proper caution is, therefore, advised in determining the correct species. Alpha ammonitin, for 6-12 hours, there are no symptoms. This is followed by a period of gastrointestinal upset. This stage is caused primarily by the phallotoxins and typically lasts 24 hours. At the end of this second stage is when severe liver damage begins. The damage may continue for another 2-3 days. Kidney damage can also occur. Some patients will require a liver transplant. Omatoxins are found in some mushrooms in the genus Ammonita, but are also found in some species of Galerina and Lapiota. Overall, mortality is between 10 and 15 percent. Recently, Salibium marianum or blessed milk thistle has been shown to protect the liver from ammonita toxins and promote regrowth of damaged cells, orelanine, this toxin causes no symptoms for 320 days after ingestion. Typically around day 11, the process of kidney failure begins, and is usually symptomatic by day 20. These symptoms can include pain in the area of the kidneys, thirst, vomiting, headache, and fatigue. A few species in the very large genus Cortinarius contain this toxin. People having eaten mushrooms containing orelanine may experience early symptoms as well, because the mushrooms often contain other toxins in addition to orelanine. A related toxin that causes similar symptoms but within 3-6 days has been isolated from Ammonita smithiana and some other related toxic Ammonita S. muscarine. Muscarine stimulates the muscarinic receptors of the nerves and muscles. Symptoms include sweating, salivation, tears, blurred vision, palpitations, and, in high doses, respiratory failure. Muscarine is found in mushrooms of the genus Omphalatus, 
notably the jack-o'-lantern mushrooms. It is also found in A. muscaria, although it is now known that the main effect of this mushroom is caused by a botanic acid. Muscarine can also be found in some inocybe species and clitocybe species, in particular clitocybe dilbata, and some red port bolides, gyromitrin, stomach acids convert gyromitrin to monomethylhydrazine, a compound employed in rocket fuel. It affects multiple body systems. It blocks the important neurotransmitter GABA, leading to stupor, delirium, muscle cramps, loss of coordination, tremors, and slash or seizures. It causes severe gastrointestinal irritation, leading to vomiting and diarrhea. In some cases, liver failure has been reported. It can also cause red blood cells to break down, leading to jaundice, kidney failure, and signs of anemia. It is found in mushrooms of the genus Gyromitra. A gyromitrin-like compound has also been identified in mushrooms of the genus Verpa, Coprin. Coprin is metabolized to a chemical that resembles disulfiram. It inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase, which, in general, causes no harm, unless the person has alcohol in their bloodstream while ALDH is inhibited. This can happen if alcohol is ingested shortly before or up to a few days after eating the mushrooms. In that case the alcohol cannot be completely metabolized, and the person will experience flushed skin, vomiting, headache, dizziness, weakness, apprehension, confusion, palpitations, and sometimes trouble breathing. Coprin is found mainly in mushrooms of the genus Caprinus, although similar effects have been noted after ingestion of clitocybe clavapes, ibotenic acid, decarboxylates into musimol upon ingestion. The effects of musimol vary, but nausea and vomiting are common. Confusion, euphoria, or sleepiness are possible. Loss of muscular coordination, sweating, and chills are likely. Some people experience visual distortions, a feeling of strength, or delusions. Symptoms normally appear after 30 minutes to 2 hours and last for several hours. A. muscaria, the Alice in Wonderland mushroom, is known for the hallucinatory experiences caused by musimol, but A. panthrina and A. gemata also contain the same compound. While normally self-limiting, fatalities have been associated with apanthrina, and consumption of a large number of any of these mushrooms is likely to be dangerous, psilocybin, dephosphorylates into the psychoactive psilocin upon ingestion, which acts as a psychedelic drug. Symptoms begin shortly after ingestion. The effects can include euphoria visual and religious hallucinations, and heightened perception. However, some persons experience fear, agitation, confusion, and schizophrenia-like symptoms. All symptoms generally pass after several hours. Some members of the genus psilocybe contain psilocybin, as do some panaeolus, copalandia, conocybe, gymnopilus, and others. Some of these mushrooms also contain biocystin, which has effects similar to psilocin, arabitol, a sugar alcohol, similar to mannitol, which causes no harm in most people but causes gastrointestinal irritation in some. It is found in small amounts in oyster mushrooms, and considerable amounts in suya species and hygrophoropsis arantiaca. Ammonita muscaria contains the psychoactive musimol and the neurotoxin ibotenic acid. Ibotenic acid decarboxylates into musimol upon curing of the mushroom, rendering it relatively non-toxic, though death via respiratory depression is possible. 
Musimol intoxication is often considered unpleasant and undesirable, however, and as such has seen little recreational use compared to the unrelated psilocybin mushroom, though it has been used as an entheogen by the native people of Siberia. Ammonita panthrina contains similar toxins as A. muscaria, but is associated with more fatalities than A. muscaria. Chlorophyllum molybdites causes intense gastrointestinal upset. Entoloma Some species are highly poisonous, such as livid entoloma. Entoloma rhodopolium, and entoloma nidorosum. Symptoms of intense gastrointestinal upset appear after 20 minutes to 4 hours, caused by an unidentified gastrointestinal irritant. Many Inocybe species such as Inocybe fastigiata and Inocybe geophila contain muscarine, while Inocybe arabescens is the only one known to have caused death. Some white clitocybe species, including C. rivulaza and C. dilbata contain muscarine. Tricoloma pardinum, Tricoloma tigrinum gastrointestinal upset due to an unidentified toxin, begins in 15 minutes to 2 hours and lasts 4 to 6 days, Tricoloma equister until recently thought edible and good, can lead to rhabdomyolysis after repeated consumption, Hypholoma fasciculare slash nematoloma fasciculare usually causes gastrointestinal upset but the toxins fasciculol E and F could lead to paralysis and death. Paxillus involutus once thought edible, but now found to destroy red blood cells with regular or long-term consumption. Rubrobolitis satanas, suiellus luridus, Rubrobolitis legalii. Calciporus pipratus. Neobolitis luridiformis. Rubrobolitis pulcherimus gastrointestinal irritation. Of these, only R. pulcherimus has been implicated in a death. Many books list N. luridiformis as edible, but Aurora lists it as to be avoided. Hebaloma crustaliniform causes gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea and vomiting. Rasula emetica, as its name implies, causes rapid vomiting. Other rasulas with a peppery taste will likely do the same, Agaricus hondensis, Agaricus californicus, Agaricus preclaris quamosus, Agaricus xanthodermis cause vomiting and diarrhea in most people, although some people seem to be immune, Lactifluus pipratus, Lactarius torminosus, Lactarius rufus These and other peppery tasting milk caps are pickled and eaten in Scandinavia, but are indigestible or poisonous unless correctly prepared. Lactarius vinasora fessens, Lactarius uvidus reported. To be poisonous. Aurora reports that all yellow or purple staining Lactarius are best avoided. Raymaria gelatinosa causes indigestion in many people although some seem immune. Gomphus flocosus causes gastric upset in many people, although some eat it without problems. G. flocosus is sometimes confused with the chanterelle. Many mushrooms are high in fiber. Excessive consumption of mushrooms may lead to indigestion, which may be diagnosed as mushroom poisoning.